where one controversy ends for the Samajwadi party, another one begins. Now its chief Mulayam Singh Yadav has demanded a ban on using English in parliament at a function in Dawa to mark Hindi Seva Day. It's not the first time he's attacked the use of English. He seems to have softened his stand outright though from prohibition uh, completely just to not using it in parliament. This is a time when in India, English has become the language of aspiration, one of the few things that gives our economy an edge over, say, China, for example. How valid a demand is this? And what about all the various communities in the country for whom Hindi isn't even a first or a second language? <laughs> मलाला बोलो चाहे कन्नड बोलो तेलुगु बोलो जो बोलना था बोलो बढ़िया बोले बोलिए लेकिन जो वोट मांगा है उस वोट मांग के आए जनता तक के भाषा में और बोलते हैं यहाँ के किस भाषा में बड़ा जितने जितने करते हैं वो सब दिखाई देते हैं बारे में मुलायम जीज़ रिमार्क्स आर डिस्टर्बिंग इंग्लिश इज़ द लैंग all languages and encourage all languages and even dialects. Right, well, joining me to discuss whether there's any merit to Mulayam Singh Yadav's demand uh, from Lucknow, Madhukar Jaitli of the Samajwadi Party and here in uh, Delhi, Chandrabhan Prasad uh, as well. Uh, Madhukar Jaitli, I want to ask you uh, first, what is Mulayam Singh Yadav thinking by talking about banning English in Parliament? Why is this necessary? No. Oh, no. You see, in a function in Itawa, in a function in Itawa, what Mr. Yadav has said is that English should not be connected to the employment and bread and butter of the people. Only those people who know English should not get the employment. There are 90% people in this country who hardly speak English. So if you give employment only to 8 to 10% people, what will the remaining 90% people do in this country? Okay, but... It's the second most spoken language in the country, but he's talking about not using it in parliament very specifically also. I'll give you an answer. <laughs> I'll give you an answer. Yes, go ahead. You see, <laughs> let me tell you, Maya, let me tell you. You see, what he has said is very correctly that in all the states of the country, it is if it is Odisha, if it is Gujarat, if it is Maharashtra, if it is Punjab, it is it is it is West Bengal. Yeah. The people demand the votes from the voters not in English but in their local languages. Yes. And if they demand votes from them in English, they will lose their deposits. They will forfeit their deposits but if they demand votes from people in who's English. Who is demanding votes in English? We'll get back to that. No one's demanding votes in English. All campaign speeches we hear are conducted either in Hindi or in the local regional language, whatever is spoken. Chandrapan Prasad, you have a goddess of English. Yeah. Tell us about that. See, to understand what Mulayam Singh is saying, we need to ask a few more questions. Why was Bombay renamed as Mumbai? Why was Bangalore renamed as Bengaluru? Mm -hmm. Why was Madras renamed Chennai. <laughs> as Chennai? And Kolkata, uh, Kolkata as Kolkata. You know, what is happening in this country, uh, post-1990, we have entered into a phase where India got connected to the rest of the world and that's the process called globalization. Along with globalization, we had, we have seen rise of regionalism, mm -hmm. regional parties, regional leaders. So there is a counter, there is a revolution going on and there is a counter revolution going on. Right. Mulayam Singh is not only targeting English, he is against uh, <laughs> FDI in detail. He is against capitalistic social order, he is against modern food habits, he drinks milk, he, dress, he, he dresses dhoti. So, uh, there is an idea regime which is, which is trying to pull India back. But this is the same Samajwadi party that also distributes laptop computers at election season. That is son does. Correct. Absolutely right. That is son does. See, there is a difference between Mulayam Singh and his son Achilles. So, no, 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 no. So Mulayam Singh Yadav has not opposed English in his speech yesterday. 
No, so the difference between Mulayam Singh Yadav and his son Akhilesh. Mulayam Singh Yadav talking about how uh, we need to use uh, Hindi much more. We also have Manishankar Iyer joining us now uh, from the Congress Party Senior Rajya Sabha MP. Manishankar Iyer, thanks for joining us on this debate. Uh, we're discussing Mulayam Singh Yadav's uh, recent call to ban the use of English in Parliament uh, for um, official work. What do you say about that? I've been following Parliament since I was an 18-year-old boy. And when I used to initially go to Parliament in the 60s, 70s, 80s, there was a lot of English used. Now, it, the use of English has declined very sharply. And uh, of its own accord, English is becoming effectively the second language in Parliament. And those of us who do not belong to the Hindi-speaking belt find ourselves at a serious disadvantage that uh, whereas we are comfortable with speaking in English. My Tamil colleagues, my Andhra colleagues, my West Bengal colleagues have great difficulty speaking Hindi.